team a little bit more. Uh, what did you think of Trey Lance's performance? I, I got to first ad- admit a little something that, that when Trey came back out for that second series, I will admit I second guess Shanahan, right? It was he had he, he had almost gotten the 10 snaps that Greg Papa was saying, hey, you know, that's the plan. You want to get Lance 10 snaps in this game. That's what Shanahan has laid out. You had eight snaps on the first drive and then you come back out but it's after you're pulling Mike McGlinchey so now you're you're subbing out some of the offensive line and what's the first play in that drive is a sack right and I think to myself oh come on you're putting Lance in there he's gonna get dinged up like what are you doing and he throws a touchdown to Danny Graham like of course of course you put him back in for the second drive it was a perfect call perfect call yeah I thought I thought Lance's performance was pretty good I thought it was it was kind of everything that we've seen throughout training camp with one exception. I mean, the the play action rollout to to Ray Ray McLeod is something that we've seen a lot. You know, what one of the plays that I really liked was the scramble, how he steps up and through the pocket up up instead of out to the outside, like you see like Kyler Murray and some of these smaller quarterbacks, they kind of bail. I like how he just stands up and he climbs the pocket. And when he does climb the pocket, he doesn't just take off running. You can see him climb the pocket. Get, a, get into a throwing position again, doesn't see anything, and then takes off for seven, nine yards, whatever it was. Uh, liked all that, the the short underneath throw to uh, to the tight end. That looked like what we see in practice, a little high kind of thing. And the even the Danny Gray throw, right? That's That wasn't that was his one bad throw of the game, and that's something that we've talked about a lot in training camp was him missing those deep out routes. So we yeah, kind of saw I- all that. And I thought then, I saw everything that I wanted to from him in that regard. I mean, it, you, you got to see him push the ball down the field. You got him used – he used his legs a little bit. And to your point, keeping his eyes downfield when he was scrambling. That's a fantastic, fantastic yeah. observation. Yeah, and the one thing that he, he did he did show that we hadn't seen during training camp was the deep shot to Danny Gray. We hadn't seen that at all in training camp. We hadn't really seen him hit a deep ball quite like that either. He's hit deep mm. balls, but not really where he hit it down the sidelines or – uh, anywhere in the middle of the field where the guy was able to catch it and just take off running uh, like that. We've seen a couple of catch and runs with Debo early on that I think would have been big plays, but uh, that was fantastic. And, and the shot to Danny Gray, that's the first time I, I that I can think of where those two have uh, completed a pass together. So that was, that was a really nice finish. And it, I found it funny too, because uh, if you go back to last season uh, and you look at what he did in the first preseason game last year, his first possession was a little kind of like this for this one where they, they moved, but it wasn't all that great. And then the second possession opened up with a deep shot for 80 yards to uh, Trent Sherfield. Same thing this time, first drive, they don't, they get a first down, but that's it. And then you get the big shot this time, 76 yards to, uh, to Danny Gray. Uh, very interesting uh, similarities between year one and year two there for Mr. Lance. Yeah, I thought it was a confidence inspiring outing for Lance, you know, one of those that should have left him feeling good. It it, it continues to sort of put out there that the trend of this training camp so far, which is that as I observe it, I saw this from David Lombardi in his tweets today in charting out the move the ball periods versus those where they're specifically practicing situational drills that Lance is doing better in the move the ball periods, those that better emulate real game film, uh, real game situations. And you you watched it on the field again, that he looked to be complete as a quarterback, that he does enough things. And Shanahan is able to highlight those things to where even with the struggles that I expect to see this season, even with struggling through some accuracy, which I would expect to see out on the field, this game gave me confidence that Kyle Shanahan can absolutely use Trey Lance as his quarterback this season. It, it really solidified the feeling that our offense is going to be okay this year for me. Yeah, no, I think the offense is going to be fine. There's going to be ups and downs. It's not going to be a smooth a smooth um, ride throughout the entire season. There's going to be ups and downs, or even in a game, there's going to be ups and downs. I don't know if I totally agree with David's uh, take or, or what he put out there in terms of the how, of Lance being better in the move of the ball periods. But what I will say is um, in the move of the ball periods when they've in practice, when, uh, when they've been in two-minute situations, he's done very good. Mm. And he those are the one- situations where you would envision he's thinking the least amount, right? He's just allowing himself to play in those moments. Absolutely. And then he also did have one really nice one that I remember um, 
from a couple, you know, last week it was the same time. And he got, he had that really good two minute drill that everybody got excited about uh, at the end, it was coming off of a rough day and so on. So no, it's good. It's, it was good to see, it was good to see him get in a game situation and, tr and try to move the offense because then you get to really see kind of how it all works. The running game was going, Trey, you know, hit his, hit his throws and, um, it was it was a very positive experience, and everybody should be happy walking away from that one. I know that uh, I walked away positive, and I've been positive on him, even though my reports aren't always, you know, glowing with what right. he's doing. But I think that that's accurate, right? I think you you have to put in there the the accuracy of of not always being a fantastic practice for Lance, because that sets the proper expectation that we will see that at some point in games. I think Kyle Shanahan will do a better job of masking it in games, I would suspect, than he does in practice, because I would think he's working on specific things in practice as well. I again thought it was a pretty ideal outing from Lance. Couldn't have asked for much better, but. Along those, along that vein, when you looked at it, Jack, did you think to yourself there was anything that you thought could have been done better? Did you have any criticisms of Lance in his time out there on the field? No. The only, the only thing is, is I'm, I, I'm nitpicking. The only reason I bring up the miss to, Lance, to Gray, the only reason is because it's something that we've seen a lot. That was If this was right. a regular season game, and we're you know, three, game, three games into whatever, and that happens, and it's not something that I'm talking about because the next time they get the ball, they score and mm -hmm. you know, that kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'm the only reason I've even mentioned it was because it was the one bad throw that he had. And it's something that we've seen the, the throw to the tight end. That was a little high, whatever. Even if he throws that ball and he hits them right in the numbers, that doesn't gain more yardage. It's not like the rest like that slowed them down or cost them any, any yards after the catch. So, right. No, I, I thought what he did, he managed. What I liked about it is, he did the things I want to see. He got him in the huddle with no problem. He looked comfortable in the pocket. He looked poised. He he looked like what he he didn't hesitate to throw the ball. It looked like mm -hmm. he was trusting what he was seeing. So for what I was looking for going into that game, I saw everything. Yeah, me too. Me too. I thought it was a, a fantastic 